Okay, we're going to look at using uh, the calculator to do fractions. So if you look right here, we're going to do this problem. Okay, we're going to do this problem right here. All right, now what you're going to do, because this is something you haven't done yet. We're going to make sure our calculator's on. I know it's on because i got the little black button blinking at me. We're going to press the green alpha key. We're going to press the Y equal key because if you look right above the Y equal key in green, it says F1. So again, alpha, Y equals. Okay, so. And notice on your screen when you've pressed the alpha key, you will see... Um, a blinking black A. So I know I've pressed alpha because I have that A showing. So now I'm going to press Y equals. All right, that very first one is what we want. That's going to allow us to enter a fraction. So press enter. Now for our fraction, we want to do negative 32 on the top. Again, make sure you use this negative key. Negative. Okay, so you're going to get that negative right there. Now press 32. Use your D-pad, move down. All right, what do we need in the denominator? We need a 2, so I'm just going to put a 2 there. Move to the side. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. There we go. See everything on one screen. Press the plus key on your calculator. Now again, let's go back. We're going to enter our next fraction, alpha and y equals, and enter. All right, now we can enter that second fraction, negative 75. Again, I'm going to make sure I come down here and press the negative key. Okay, then do the 75. This is what it should look like in your calculator. Okay, my... Focus is kind of bad, but I think you can probably see it a little bit. Move down. Enter the negative 15. All right, check your calculator. It should look like that. Move outside. Always make sure that you have this flashing black box before you press enter. Press enter. There's your answer, negative 11. This will help you a lot with fractions. Okay. All right, let's look at one more. Um, let's look at E. Negative 9 squared. So parentheses. Again, that negative down there at the bottom. 9, close parentheses. Then press the X squared key to square that. Okay, then, so now we've got what we should have. Then it's going to be parentheses, negative 5, close parentheses. Now, this is not being squared. It's being raised to the fifth power. So when we're going to raise something to the fifth to a power, we come over here and we use the caret key. That's this key that looks like a rooftop. Press it. Notice on the screen you've got a little flashing box. You put your exponent in there, 5. Make sure that you press the D-pad key to get back to a black screen. Otherwise, you're going to just keep adding to the problem up there on the top. Press Enter. There's your answer. Okay. This is how we do fractions in raising to a power that's greater than 2.